What's up you guys? Back from vacation. Definitely well needed. Um, got some news to tell you guys. A couple things have changed as far as my work situation, which is kind of exciting. Definitely scary, but exciting. But before getting into any of that, uh, for today's video, we're gonna install my HKS uh, turbo timer. And since I'm going to have all this apart, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your lights on your gauge cluster. Um, there are LED lights on this already, it's just that two of them are going out. So, might as well replace it. And I'm going to do red, which I had from my S13, and it's going to match my deck. So, we'll do that as well. And right here you can see this is what it looks like right now. It does have the white LEDs, and if you look my water temp gauge isn't it working and sometimes the other gauges start to flicker so we'll change those out <clears throat> obviously you want to move your seat back to give you as much space as possible uh, you're gonna notice and I hopefully you guys can see this here there's gonna be four screws here two there's gonna be there's gonna be two screws right here, and then there's gonna be another two right over here. There's gonna be one over here on the side as well. And actually, it might be easier to use a small one like this. This should come down. Now there's gonna be, I know there's a two here too, but it's just enough so that you can actually remove these one, these ones right here. You're gonna see one, two, and three over here. And actually looks like two, this one's missing and this one's missing here. So I only have one to remove here. So you don't have to remove this whole thing to get this shroud out. So let's remove this one here. And then on the shroud itself, you'll see one right here. You'll see one right here. One right on the other side of this. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this because of the because of the light, but and one down here on the other side. So four total. Alright guys, so in this part of the video I'm explaining how to remove your uh, plastics off of the steering column, which you do not have to do when you're installing your uh, turbo timer. Your harness that you're wanting to get to is actually underneath the dash, uh, which I didn't know that until I was ready to plug everything up. So uh, this part you do not have to do. It does make it a little bit easier to remove the bezel, but it's not required. So, so now behind here, when you start pulling these, you're going to have all the harnesses that should be undone first before completely taking it off. Two and three. Let's take this one out. So now you have access to your gauge cluster. So on the gauge cluster, you're gonna have four bolts here. So let's go ahead and remove those. So now this should be able to just be pulled out. All right. 
right, so let's test that out. Let's see if that works. So the only way to test this out, you guys, is obviously to plug this side in. Put the key in. So, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it is on. I don't think this one's on right here. That's for sure. Yep, this one's off. And I don't know about this side, so we'll check that out. All right, guys, so if you notice, it is, everything's all on now. So we have it this side's actually working and same with this side so everything's lit up now and obviously it's daytime so this will be a lot brighter at night but it looks a lot better and it should match my deck over here on the HKS harness part the uh, part number for R32s is actually gonna be the same as uh, not only for R32s but also for uh, the S13s and the S14 and I believe even the 300ZX so they all are gonna have the same the same harness and from HKS it is 4103RN002 which I will put in the link as well in the description as well and uh, as far as the turbo timer I went with a uh, type 0 because I don't really need to see the RPM on the type 1 um, and as well as it just having just the you know the basic turbo timer features with I believe it has a voltage meter on here as well which is kind of cool all right so you guys uh, if you follow the ignition itself behind it the wires go underneath the dash and then you'll see this plug right here so this is the plug that you're gonna need to use for the uh, turbo timer harness so I'm gonna unplug this really quick and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all uh, put together. Okay, so I unplugged it right here. So if you notice this right here, is gonna accept the, uh, the male side of the harness. All right, so the male side is in and then you'll see the female side of the HKS harness will go to the OEM male one right there, so one sec. All right, so if you notice, that is in right there. And then of course the turbo timer harness goes here. So I'm gonna button this all up, clean this all up right now, get the dash back together, and uh, I'll show you the rest of the install here. All right, so I got this all taken apart. Um, to get to the e-brake um, right here, there's gonna be four screws. So one on this side, one on this side, and of course in the same opposite sides here. Because we just wanna get to that wire down there for the e-brake handle. So I don't wanna have to take this whole handle off just to get this so when I can reach it there. And it looks like actually there's already a spliced wire. Yep. So this wire right here, somebody already spliced it. I'm guessing for the uh, either the AFC or I have no clue what this thing is here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of dark. So I have uh, an Apex Eye or Apex E AFC. Then I have this thing. I have no clue what it is. Uh, but it looks like it already has a wire going to the e brake signal. So. I'm just going to tap this with one of these tappers. All right, you guys, so inside the box, you're going to see everything you need to get this all started here. So the actual turbo timer uh, display unit right here, and that's going to plug into the ECU or the computer unit right here. So instructions as well, I think it's mounting stuff. All right, so the install is pretty easy since I have the harness already in. So this obviously goes to your harness and then you'll be utilizing the 
ground and just the gray wire and the gray wire is what goes to your parking brake signal all right guys so i went ahead and grounded the uh, ecu or the computer of the turbo timer i mounted the uh, turbo timer right i don't know if it'll focus come on focus so i mounted it right here so it's not in the way of any of my all right guys so i went ahead and grounded the uh, ecu or the computer of the turbo timer. I mounted the uh, turbo timer right. I don't know if it'll focus. Come on, focus. So I mounted it right here, so it's not in the way of any of my gauges. And so, moment of truth. So I plug it in down here, and I grounded it, and the parking brake. Let's try this. So, neutral. And if you notice, backlight is also red so it's gonna match my gauges right there sorry for the glare all right so let's test it out turn it off key out and if you look it is counting down there we go so it looks like it works Install success. Now I just gotta button all this up and we should be good to go. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, pretty easy install, especially with that harness. It's all plug and play. And same thing with the uh, LED install on the cluster there. So uh, more videos to come. Feel free to like the video if you got something out of it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later.